Hi, we're at the um, Hi-Fi show live in the UK in Ascot. Uh, I'm standing next to Bruno from Mola Mola. And coincidentally, we just, uh, we're just we about to give a presentation um, with Melco Audio, a collaboration where we're using a Mola Mola deck. Now, I would like to ask you to uh, introduce yourself, um, say what you do for the company, and uh, talk a bit about the deck that we're going to use during the presentation. Um, I'm Bruno. Um, I'm sort of a um, generic audio engineer. I've been uh, doing various projects in, uh, in, in, in my life. Um, and Hypex was one, and Mola Mola was one, and Key is one, and, uh, and Purify is one. Mm -hmm. And so the work that I did for Mola Mola was essentially designed the whole, the whole product line, the whole the, 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 um, the, the basic electronic circuitry, and uh, up to and including some of, some of the industrial design. Um, the um, the DAC, the Tambaki, is um, yeah. is is a uh, is a product that initially was only available as a plug-in board for the Makua preamplifier, um, and um, due to popular requests, we repackaged this uh, the, 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 this DAC in, uh, in 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 a separate uh, in a separate box, so that you didn't have to buy a preamplifier with it right. if you didn't want to. Right. Right, and it's it's um, because we're doing the presentations obviously in DSD <laughs> for a native DSD, so it's DSD compatible. Um, are you yourself a big DSD supporter? Do you listen? In what format do you like to listen to the music? I'm fairly uh, I'm fairly format agnostic, let's yeah. say, yeah. Um, because in my opinion, um, if PCM is really properly done. It works. Uh, it, it can work absolutely fine, yeah. and and I mean, DSD is essentially um, a workaround at, at some of the problems that you bump into when you when you do PCM. And of course, I mean if you can avoid certain digital filtering, then you don't need to agonise over how to get those filters right. Yeah. Um, and so, so in a way, DSD um, as a as a format has um, has this. I mean, apparent elegance of directness, but it it it's, it brings its own challenges. So nothing is nothing is sort of the perfect, straightforward way. It's, right. Whether you choose PCM or DSD, yeah. there are certain uh, certain technical challenges that you need to uh, that, that that you need to look at. Um, for me, the, uh, the the reason why I do listen to a lot of uh, DSD is very simply that, um, that 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 people who choose DSD. To work in f as a recording format, tend to be people who agonise of everything, every small detail in the recording process. So the likelihood that a DSD recording will sound great is quite high compared to the likelihood that the, that, that the same will be true for your average PCM recording. Right, right. So when we just met, um, you said say hi to Jared, <laughs> who is of course co-founder of Native DSD, but also makes the recordings for Channel Classics Records now for 30 years. Um, how do you know Jared Sachs? Um, actually, through uh, through another company where I did did some work for. Um, Grim Audio, oh, right. and um, so Grim Audio started in 2004 um, when I just uh, sort of built uh, a, a one-bit A to D converter, discrete A to D converter, uh, which uh, which Jared has been using on numerous of his recordings yeah. as well. Um, so that's how we got to know Jared. Yeah. And have you have you heard uh, recordings that he made on the Grim uh, ADC? Um, in DSD 64, did, did you do you have maybe a favorite recording that he made on that machine? I have to say, I've, I, I still have an, have an, an, an enormous uh, affection for the uh, for the very first album that he did on the unit before he bought it when he just just loaned it from us. Oh, yeah? he, he, uh, he he did this fantastic um, um, album with uh, Peter Rispelbey and and Dejan Lazic. The, uh, okay. the 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 Beethoven sonata, yeah. Get, getting that SAC in my in, into my hands and then, then then listening to it for the first time that was that felt like the most beautiful birthday present in my life. It's such a generous recording, both uh, both in terms of of, of of sound and in terms of musicianship. The whole thing comes together. It's 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 it, it is and remains one of my 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 all time favorite classic CDs. In fact. I'm glad I asked this question so we could get this very uh, 
big hearted response. Thank you very much. We uh, look forward to hearing the Mola Mola deck um, in col collaboration with Melco Audio in just an hour from now. And uh, thank you very much for this chat. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.